Samsung has always been a titan in the smartphone world. From the Galaxy S series to their foldables, they've pushed boundaries time and time again. But here's the thing. For years, Samsung's been playing a tricky game with their chipsets. Sometimes it's their own Exynos chips, sometimes it's Qualcomm's Snapdragon. And let me tell you, that choice? It sparked heated debates among fans. Why? Because the chip inside your phone isn't just a piece of silicon, it's the heart of your device. It decides how fast your apps load, how smooth your games run, and how long your battery lasts. And now, Samsung is about to make a bold move with their next big release, the Galaxy S26 series. Are you ready to hear what's coming? According to a bombshell report from Mayel Kyangjie, Samsung is going all in with a dual chip strategy for the Galaxy S26 lineup. That's right, two chips, two different vibes, and a whole lot of questions. The Galaxy S26 series is expected to include three models, the Galaxy S26 Pro, the Galaxy S26 Edge, and the top dog Galaxy S26 Ultra. But here's where it gets juicy. Samsung is reportedly splitting the chips based on where you live. Let's break it down. If you're in Asia or Europe, your Galaxy S26 Pro or S26 Edge might come with Samsung's brand new Exynos 2600 chip. But if you're in America, North or South, you're likely getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. And the Galaxy S26 Ultra? That beast is sticking with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 everywhere. So why the split? Why not just pick one chip and call it a day? Well, my friends, that's where this story gets really interesting. Let's talk about the Exynos 2600 first. This chip is a big deal, like really big. Why? Because it's built on Samsung Foundry's two nanometer gate all around process. Two nanometers. That's the world's first two NM chip for a smartphone. Smaller nanometers mean more power, better efficiency, and less heat. In simple terms, it's like giving your phone a supercharged engine that sips fuel instead of guzzling it. For years, Samsung's Exynos chips have had a, let's say, complicated reputation. Some fans loved them, but others, they weren't so thrilled. Exynos chips sometimes lagged behind Snapdragon in speed, gaming, or battery life. But Samsung has been listening. They've been working hard to fix those issues. And now, reports say the Exynos 2600 is faster than Qualcomm's current Snapdragon 8 Elite. Yes, you heard that right, faster. Could this be the comeback Exynos fans have been dreaming of? Now, let's talk about the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. This chip, made by Qualcomm, is built on TSMC's 3 nanometer process. 3 nanometers is still incredibly advanced, but it's not quite as cutting edge as Samsung's 2 nanometers. So, does that mean Exynos is better? Not so fast. Snapdragon chips have been the gold standard for Android phones for years. They're known for their raw power, incredible graphics, and rock-solid reliability. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is expected to be a monster, with leaks suggesting it's going to push performance to new heights. So, if you're in the Americas, you might be getting this beast in your Galaxy S26 Pro or Edge. And the S26 Ultra? It's Snapdragon all the way, no matter where you are. So, here's the million-dollar question. Why is Samsung splitting chips by region? It's not a new trick. Samsung's done this before. Remember the Galaxy S22? Europe got Exynos, while other regions got Snapdragon. And let's be real. Some fans in Europe weren't happy about it. They felt like they were getting a lesser chip. But this time, things might be different. If the Exynos 2600 is as good as the leaks suggest, Samsung could finally deliver a chip that rivals Snapdragon. And there's another reason for this split. Money. Here's the deal. Qualcomm Snapdragon chips are expensive. TSMC, the company that makes them, is raising prices, which means pricier phones for you and me. Samsung's Exynos 2600, on the other hand, is made in-house. That means it's cheaper for Samsung to produce. If the Exynos 2600 performs as well as promised, it could save Samsung millions, maybe even billions of dollars. And guess what? That could mean more affordable Galaxy phones for us. A win for Samsung and a win for consumers. That's the dream. But here's where it gets really intense. 
the success of the Exynos 2600 isn't just about phones, it's about the future of Samsung's entire chip business. Samsung's System LSI division, which designs Exynos chips, and Samsung Foundry, which makes them, are counting on this chip to prove they can compete with the big dogs like Qualcomm and TSMC. If the Exynos 2600 flops, it could spell trouble for Samsung's chip ambitions. But if it succeeds, it could break Qualcomm's grip on the high-end chip market. More competition means better chips, better phones, and, fingers crossed, better prices. This isn't just a chip, it's a game changer. So, what does this mean for you? If you're buying a Galaxy S26, you're getting a powerhouse no matter where you live. Exynos 2600 in Asia or Europe, it's looking like a beast. Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in the Americas, you're in for a treat. And if you're going for the Galaxy S26 Ultra, you're getting that Snapdragon goodness worldwide. The Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most exciting releases yet, and it's launching in early 2026. But here's the big question. Which chip do you want in your next phone? Exynos or Snapdragon? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.